All right, welcome back to the channel. Now, my plan today was to make something with the Civic. I know I said I wasn't gonna, but I was going to. But it's just, it's snowing like crazy and it's just miserable. So instead I decided I'm gonna pull the sign into the garage and I'm gonna suede wrap a couple of the parts on the dashboard I've been dying to do for the longest time. <laughs> Alright, got the car in the garage and like I say in most videos, I am so excited for this one because it's been a while since we've done any cosmetic stuff to the sign. Like we did the clutch spring a while ago, but that's not cosmetic and you'd literally never know unless I actually told you that the clutch spring was gone. But like I said earlier, we're gonna suede wrap the dashboard pieces in this car and I'll just quickly show you what pieces I'm even talking about. Actually, super quickly before that, that background noise you're hearing is just the heater in the back corner. It'll turn off, probably won't even notice it eventually anyways. But this is what we're doing. This fake carbon fiber has to go. So I'm gonna do this piece, I'm gonna do that piece, and we're gonna start by doing that. Eventually we might suede wrap more pieces, but that's the start for what we're doing. And then what am I wrapping it with? I have a ton of fox suede here, and it looks so good, so whoop, don't fall. So we're gonna use that, and I think it's gonna look pretty good. But let's get those pieces out. So I'm a little nervous, because I've literally never done this in my life, but to, from videos I've seen, it literally just pulls and pops out. Wow, my God, that was so easy. That was crazy easy. So I got the first one on and it looks so good. It looks so, so good compared to the old fake carbon fiber. But let me just show you the first one before I jump into the next one. So this, well, this is obviously what it looked like before. So it's kind of cool, but it's fake carbon fiber and everyone knows it's fake carbon fiber. Where this is actual fox suede now and it just looks so good. But let me get this one done and then we'll get them both into the car and take a peek at it. It just looks so good so far. I'm blown away how excited this is. I got it done. They turned out awesome. The one where the radio goes around, it took, took quite a bit of time, like quite a bit longer. It's probably been about half an hour between uh, stretching it, gluing it, pulling it over, cutting it, stretching it, gluing it, and just over and over because there's so many curves and stuff like that. Other than that, I think it turned out really good. So here's what we got. This is the first one I did. Doesn't look like it peeled back anywhere. It looks really good. This is kind of just 
the angle because like like this this is the material that changes whatever direction you pull it so so it's not going to look perfect perfect all the time anyways and then this one the only thing i found troubling was around these corners around here it's because you have to stretch it over and this material is not really made to stretch so once the radio goes i'm pretty sure we'll be fine so i think this dried for long enough so i'm gonna get this in the car and see how good that turned out just looking at this right here and it's funny because this and this is an opening you can kind of hide stuff in there i'm not gonna because with my luck i'm gonna forget that it's in there but if you look actually you can't really see in here but this the, the bottom of this leads to the top of the glove box so i technically could put some switches in here or something like that and just run the wires or something like that and have them pop out here it'd be super easy to run the wire through there all right the pieces are in it looks awesome now in total, it probably took me about, well, I want to say about an hour, but I took my time. I did it right. I did it really good, but now it's going to take a couple more hours for it to dry. I'm going to let it sit for a bit. I'm going to let it dry really good because with my luck, I'm going to mess something up. And when it's done, I'm going to go for a drive. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how it turned out with some awesome B-roll, but I'll see you in right now, actually. All right, if you stuck around to the end, that is awesome. I appreciate it so much. This turned out amazing. If you're just trying to do some cheap mod to a car and you absolutely can't think of anything, do this. Go to your local fabric store, get some 3M77, I think it's called, or even, I use Gorilla Glue because Gorilla Glue is not coming off. You can, you can pry it off, but it's not gonna peel off, or at least, Hopefully not. We're gonna test that out over the next couple months. I bought an entire roll because I was gonna do a bunch of cars with the same material, but you can go to your local fabric store, pick up a sheet like this for 10 bucks, buy some 3M77, I'm, I'm not sure, I assume it's under $30 or under $20. So for $30, you can do a piece like this and it changes the whole car, it really does. Like the whole drive here, during all the B-roll, I just can't stop looking at it. It looks so good. So I 100% recommend everyone to do it who wants to modify their car 10 out of 10 100 recommend it you can't go wrong if you buy a cheap trim adhesive it could go wrong just don't buy the cheap stuff spend three more dollars and get the good stuff but if you made it this far make sure you like comment and subscribe there is so much more videos to come and i will see you guys next time oh also hit that notification bell